Hello, welcome back to AmbiV. I'm Casper, and today we're making aluminum fuel lines for the 1967 Mustang. So I ordered in from JEGS a couple rolls of this 3 8 aluminum fuel line as well as an assortment of these 6AN from Hardline fittings. I also ordered some of this thread sealant slash anti-seize material to put on the threads of these fittings as they're assembled in order to keep the threads from binding as well as to help assist in any kind of long-term leakage. So let's go ahead and just start straightening this out and see how much we have. project on the Mustang, I'm going to be using 3 8 inch aluminum line. The straight aluminum line is really flexible, you can bend it by hand easily, but it's really easy to kink and you can wear through it and cut through it. So if you need a higher durability purpose, you might want nickel copper or actual steel line. Steel is the most difficult to bend by far. To do the connection from this to the rest of the system, I will be using straight line AN fitting. So I have both female and male straight line, line AN fittings that allow me to connect directly onto this pipe and then hook up to my soft lines or directly to the fuel pump unit or whatever. In this case, these fittings will use a small brass collar within them to do the connection to the pipe itself. So the installation on the pipe is really straightforward. You drop the bottom part on, you have the collar that's inside, and you have your end. You just push the end down until it bottoms out on here, and then as you tighten these together, they will press into that collar, and once tight, we'll squeeze the collar into this line and make a nice solid connection. You can also use some thread sealant to help lubricate the threads as well as to ensure that there's no leakage around there, but it's usually not an issue. In my case, I'm going to use a little bit just because I tend to over tighten these and I don't wanna risk binding up the threads and damaging them. Now, if this was going to be a show car or something that was going to be done for a lot of attention, I would spend a lot more time routing my lines, planning nice clean bends, making sure the beautification projects there, make sure the clamping and all of the um, attachments to the body were perfect. But for this, I'm just going to make sure the routing is efficient and safe and then get the car back on the road. So let's go ahead and get some of this stuff in the car.
that concludes the installation of the aluminum fuel lines on the Mustang. Swapping it out for the aluminum lines really is only for my peace of mind and I like the look a lot better. It got them back up out of the way and I know these won't try to come loose and fall into the drive line or cause any other problems in the future like leaks at the back end where I had to do the combination fitting into the fuel filter. If you're going to do this yourself, aluminum lines are by far the easiest to bend and conform to the body and if you set aside a few extra hours you can do a much more visually pleasing install. I just wanted it functional and I have to get it back on the road right now. But if I were to do this for a show car solution, I would probably spend more time, conform it to the body, use better clamps than just cushion clamps. And when I came to the engine bay, I would machine a nice little bracket, install male to male bulkhead fittings, and run the aluminum line up to one side and the soft line out the other. So you have a nice, complete finished looking installation that is also reliable and easy to attach. So in the future, I will probably revisit the routing, but otherwise this installation should make it a reliable daily driver. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.